It's so genuine, you know? And that's all you want. You just want to be loved. Exactly. And every man has fucked you over. Ah, uh, not really. Who hasn't? Uh, not Shimza. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I regret showing you my DMs. <laughs> what the hell is going on? Podcast and chill. Matt G, the ghost lady, and Len Moleko. And but I mean, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to it. It's another episode of Podcast and Chill, and today I'm chilling with the beautiful and the talented Ndando Mukwebo. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hi, but I mean, but it sounds nice, though. Eh? I know, I know, I know, no, no. You can just say Bomakazi, Tando, Ramabulan. Okay, no, I'm lying. No, the reason why I'm, I'm saying joking. that because when are you my type, man? When are you my type? When? Are? What do you mean I'm your type? No, like what uh, is a type? Let's my, begin there. First of all, I like yellow, yellow, yellow bones. Okay. Check. I also love the navy bones. Am I Navy? <laughs> <laughs> Is that what they call me? Eh? <laughs> it's got a nice ring to it. Oh, well, yes. <laughs> okay, uh, so what did I say? Yellow bone tick. Yes. Uh, she's got to be funny. Mm, okay. You look like you're funny. Uh, I don't know. Have the I been funny? The little interviews I've seen of you, you're pretty funny. Okay. Like you don't I'll take, take yourself it. too seriously. No. You see? Check. Okay. Uh, beautiful. Am I? Yes. Oh, thank you. Oh, look at you. <laughs> hey, <y'all. laughs> but what, what, what's a guy like me got to do to get it with a girl like you? Literally nothing. Just don't try it. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> Some funny, ne? I agree. <laughs> but the thing is with chicks like you, I've dated chicks like you. You guys are the no, worst. Ch- what do you mean, chicks like me? Um, You know what chicks like you are like? When it's nice, it's nice. When it's bad, it's bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, I totally agree. You know what I mean? I totally agree. Because you look like you wear your heart on your sleeve, no? Absolutely. Mm. I'm that type. Hey, but when it's nice, it's nice, though. And if it's nice, it's nice. But when you fuck it up, yeah. it's And bad. it's always the guy that fucks yes. it up. Yes, it's bad and goes the wrong ten. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hmm. And now, what, what's your status like now? What's going on? What's uh, I'm single. You're single? Extremely single. Mm. Very, very single. Are you on Tinder? No. Why? What do you mean, why? Like most single people go on Tinder. Uh, I don't do Tinder. Mm. I've you heard about it, but I know I'm not interested to join that. And then your DMs? What about them? What's going on in your DMs? Oh, nothing goes on. So there's no one hitting on you right I now? I can give you my phone and go through my DMs. You kidding? You are more than welcome. Yeah. Let's see. Mm-hmm. How many followers you got? Uh, 1.8 million. Yes, sir! <laughs> <laughs> are you serious? Yes. How the fuck do you get 1.8 million? Mm, DJ Dalutz. What? DJ Dalutz. Oh, okay. Tepin Vundla. She, she sounds famous. Uh, well, she's an influencer. Yes. Yeah. Isn't she Jera's yes, baby mama, ne? Yes. Oh, so you're friends with her? Uh, I love her. Mm. We love each other. We Shimza? Like each other. What's Shimza saying? Uh, you, can, you can go. Let's see. Uh, Maro Ujong, he uli so. Okay, my phone back, please. You type your house. <laughs> what's going on? You have Maro <laughs> That's oh. my boy Shimza, mm. man. <laughs> no, he's all, he also thinks I'm his type. Like, yeah. you think I'm your type, yeah, you know? Yeah. So this, dark, this Navy Bones think me am your type here. So you can't blame him. Yeah, but it looked like you're entertaining him as well. No, no, he's, he's, he's my favorite in the industry. He's not my boyfriend. He, I'm not even, you know, thinking of dating him or whatever. I'm tired of DJing. My baby daddy's a DJ. So, and easy. <laughs> it's a no-go area for me. So definitely not dating Shimza. Yeah. Definitely not even willing to. <laughs> Not funny. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There's quite a lot. Actually, there's, there's, you can go through my DMs. Like, I don't even have a problem because there's nothing going on there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's like those mini chats and you just love and then that's it. So, so are you, it's because you're not interested at all or you're just waiting for the right guy? Or you just don't <laughs> give a fuck? This thing of waiting for the right guy, I think also it has just, you know, kept me... Because we, we all know you don't do the 60-day rule. 
<laughs> no, 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 I don't anymore. <laughs> you bust it open. No, 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 I don't anymore. Yeah, no, yeah. No, 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 no. Is my mom watching? <laughs> yeah. You, you should better not. Yeah. No, but I mean, I'm, I'm not, you know, I've been waiting for the right guy. I'm, I'm not the type to, 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 in, to get involved into situationships, you know, mm. those things. Because me, I catch feelings very easily. Yeah, you know, yeah. so I don't want to, to ruin a uh, nice time, Yaga boy, because you know, he wants to have fun. Mm. And I don't have fun. Like, I don't, I don't do those one night things and whatever. Mm. If I'm in a relationship, let it be a relationship. If not, then... I'd rather be single. Have, haven't you seen a guy that you really like? Yo, if he was mine, or like, yo, this navy blue guy. Eh? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> why does he? Why does he have to be navy blue? Uh, well, I have, I have, I've seen a quite, quite a, a, a few of them. Yeah. Uh, but you know, and I, when I discover, well. One thing about me, when I like you, I do some research and whatever. Oh, okay. So when I discover You're certain like a CIA. things, I'm just like, yeah, dude, I'm there, I'm good. Mm. So when I figure out some things, I, it turns out actually, no, I don't like them. Mm. Mm. So yeah. you you wouldn't be you wouldn't approach the guy. Let's say you meet him at a function, like the fashion week that you had this past yes. weekend. So let's say you met you met a guy there. It's never gonna happen. You I wouldn't don't approach, approach. No, 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 okay. never. Never. So then, how never. are you gonna do research if you don't know who it is? Dude, uh, no, I've got my ways, mm. and I always find out. Mm. Same thing when I'm in a relationship. Mm-hmm. Ask my baby daddy; he knows. <laughs> <laughs> he knows. Uh, but uh, same thing when I'm in a relationship. When I figure out something is dodgy, I make sure that I do my research, and I, I, I literally find it out yeah. in a second. Okay, so you do the research. You turns out, boy, Ukraine. What's the, what's next then? I then uh, you hit him up in the DMs. No, no, no. I don't. I can't. I don't have the audacity. Like I don't have the energy. I, I like I can't. I'm not You and know. Then what do you do then? Uh, I, I just I, I just keep on liking it. At least, <laughs> at least I could do is just like the pictures. You know, just like, <laughs> like, or maybe comments. Ooh, ooh nice and You know, <laughs> those things. <laughs> you see, at least there's a, there's effort in And then there's progression. Know? Yeah, but. Only if he likes me back, then he will start doing whatever. Yeah. You know how yeah. you guys are. You yeah. know, way forward up, uh, with these things. So, uh, I've never tried it out actually with... Actually. Yeah? I sent a DM. You sent a DM? I sent a DM. To who? Shinza? Michael B. Jordan. Michael B. Jordan? Dude, yeah. I've been hitting on this guy and he's not even giving me his attention. Well, he watches the show. Says, tell him, tell him he watches. He does? <laughs> hey, Michael! <laughs> <laughs> Hook me up! <laughs> We're international, That's baby. like my ideal <laughs> man. Like, yeah. He is so perfect for me. What about Drake? No, I've, I've, he's too yellow. Mm, yeah, yeah, he's too yellow. Navy. Yeah, I, once upon a time I used to like him. I was just like, I don't know. Okay, who else is dark? Uh, Akon? Akon's. Oh my God, not that kind of dark. <laughs> Jesus Christ. No, no. I, eh, nah, man. It, it did not say load shedding. <laughs> I said navy. <laughs> not load shedding. Anyway, all right, enough about that. How was the fashion week? I've never been there. What goes on there? Okay, so it's my second time walking on the ramp uh, at the fashion week. Mm. Uh, first time, obviously, I, I was I did not have smartly. Mm. Uh, I was excited. Mm. First time. I mean, I started as a model, you know. So for me, it was just like, oh, my God, I've upgraded my CV as a model, you know. So I walked, actually, third time. Yes. So I worked there for the first time. It was really amazing. People liked me with my, my bold. You remember, you used to have bold head. Remember? No, I don't, but let's just say I do. Uh, well, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so I was, I was, I was, I was, I was the hottest thing at that time, and I had fun. Second time it was okay, and then this time it's different. I'm a freaking mother now, mm. and they've asked my daughter to also come and you know yeah. be part of it. It's like okay, cool, sure, you know. Yeah. Uh, I've done it before with her when she was six months. She mm. walked on the ramp. Well, she couldn't walk, but I, I walked her on the ramp, you yeah. know. And this now it's, uh, it's our second time together, and it was quite. Incredible. You look so happy. I'm always happy when I'm around Smartly. Smartly makes my life. Mm. Literally. She's my everything. She brings smile into my face. Regardless of how I feel, she just brings light into my into my heart. Doesn't she make you feel like before she was around you like, what the fuck was I doing with my life? Dude, yes, all the time. Yeah. Like she is 
she is yeah I will, I will never stop talking if i start talking about her ah. she's like the most amazing human i've ever met we've got an hour this is not radio d- uh, d- don't worry <laughs> i also have more than two hours <laughs> with you <laughs> <laughs> navy bones i'm entering <laughs> <laughs> You know, she, she, she just showed me what unconditional love yeah. is. She's so special. The moments that we share together, they're just so incredible. They're so rare. They are so fresh. They are so, they're so genuine, you know? And that's all you want. You just want to be loved. Exactly. And every man has fucked you over. Ah, uh, not really. Who hasn't? Uh, not Shimza. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I regret showing you my DMs. <laughs> What the hell is going on? <laughs> oh my god, no! Forget yeah. about him. Who hasn't yeah, he's not friends. even in the list of people that I like. Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. Uh, n- uh, not, not, no, they haven't fucked me over. Uh. No, no man can actually fuck me over. Mm. Uh, I'm, mm. I'm joking. They fucked up my heart just a, a little bit. Yeah. Because with me, I love genuinely and I love I 100%. Know. And that's why with Smash, like, it's like. Exactly, because now I receive what I give, you mm. know. So it's it's so special to me, and I know for a fact, Uguti is not even forced, you know, mm. because she genuinely loves her mom. Mm. I literally do everything for her. She does everything for me. I stay motivated because of her. I make money because of her. I I'm happy because of her. Uh, I'm pretty because of her. Hey, like, no. no I, I want to look great and say, but oh my gosh, you are so, so hot, you know? Mm. Also, I'm, you know, I'm also just, you know, I'm confident. I'm more confident because of her. She just brings out the you most positive purpose. things. Yes. Mm. She brings out the most positive and the most amazing things out of me. So, mm. she's like the love of my life. Yeah. Yeah, I'm tired of saying to men they're the love of my life. Did you, did you talk to her during your pregnancy? Hmm? Did you ever talk to her, like, during your pregnancy? Spatly. Mm. Yes, I would read books for her. <laughs> I would literally, like, you can go through her Instagram. She's got an Instagram account, and mm. I know she's got, like, more following than you. Yeah, I was telling um, you, she's more famous yeah. than me. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should interview her. <laughs> oh, my God. So, she, yeah, I started reading books when she was, like, three months into my tummy. Uh, well, I was instructed by my gyne to, mm. you know, I was advised to do that. And I actually did. And look at how she's smart, how smart she is right now. No, but every, uh, every parent says that. Every parent says their child no, is smart. For, for me, it's actually... Actually, my first time saying this on an interview, I never say that until now. I don't have a choice but to actually say it because the world has agreed with me before oh, I even said it. Okay. You know? Yeah. yeah, she's she's quite intelligent, and she can speak English, unlike you. Oh, she speaks four languages, just by the way. Hey, no. Mm-hmm. Hey, no. <laughs> and she is only two. Yeah, she can speak Sutu. She speaks Zulu. She speaks Sutu and uh, uh, Tsonga. Hey, what are you doing? My son is three. You can't speak a word of vendor. Yeah, your, your, the mother is, is doing something wrong. <laughs> yeah. You, you are also, because you're part of your child's life, you are doing something wrong. <laughs> wow, fuck, that's impressive. Yeah, she, she knows who the president of the country is. You're kidding. She knows who the president of the EFF is. She knows who's the spokes, national spokesperson of the EFF. Wow. I'm not even joking. Follow her. Just go with the vibe, yo. Because I saw that video when you were teaching her how to say hello in different yes. languages. And she caught on so quickly. Yeah, but also it takes time. Also, I think f- with, with her... And I enjoy teaching her because she's always like, Mommy, it's time for us to do this. Because she's also, she's also very curious. She, she wants to know what's going on. What's this? Who's this? You know? So it's easy for me to do it. And it's also easy for her to, to, to grab things because she's, she is very, very curious to know. She grows up. She wants to be in the industry. Would you let her? I don't have an issue. I mean, mm. I have I have my insecurities about the industry as Ndando, mm. and I'm all obviously like scared for her, but I I'm here for her and I'm supporting everything that she wants to do. Why would you want your your child in this industry? Do you know how crazy it is? Fucked up this. Dude, thing. I don't. If she really wants it, I mean, with me, it's it's it's. Yeah, dude, I have not been getting a, a, a lot of support, especially when I started in the industry. So my family was just like, ah, yeah, yeah, that industry is about drugs. It's about alcohol, being drunk and going out at night and whatever, you know. So they're just also, well, I they're think... They're not lying. Yeah, they're not. But, you know, <laughs> till this day, I've never been offered drugs. Wow. I've never been offered alcohol. I just tell them I don't drink and they respect that, you know. Mm. So I, also, I think you were going to ban. But that's an advantage. My back too weak. So you've never you know, had they come weed? At you. No. Not even a puff? No, not even hubbly what hubbly. You're lying, no, dad. You're clean. When I hear the whole package. 
<laughs> well, yeah, I've never. And also, I don't even have a problem with people that drink. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't have a problem with you. Look at you. Like, yeah, you're yeah, just yeah. having fun here. And, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. I don't have a problem with people that drink. I don't have a problem with people that smoke. I don't have a problem with anybody deciding on what, on what they want to do with their lives. But I have personally, you know, decided I want to do this and I don't want to do that. Mm. And I also, you know, expect people to respect my decisions too. But then why don't you, like, try it and then be like, ah, it's not for me? I don't even have, like, the energy to try it. You're also, missing with, out. With, eh? with, 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 with You've never been drunk. What? You've never I've been drunk and oh. misbehaved because I've seen a lot of people who are drunk, they misbehave. Ah, I've seen it from home. My, my father used to beat up my mom when she, he was drunk. No, that's. I was like, I, no, this thing is wrong. But because he, when he was not drunk, he would act very, very, pro- he would be a proper person, a mm. proper human being. Think right, do right. But mm. minutes mm. he drinks, mm. it's a problem. So it's like, okay, no, this thing is not so right. So maybe that's why you don't even want a touch of alcohol. Yes. I think mm. that's like the biggest reason, you know, yeah, yeah behind that. Mm, what was he drinking? Yeah, oh, Savannah. It's Savannah! Yeah. No, 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 I know. I've seen it with my sister. Ah, no, 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 no. I, I know it. I've seen it from my friends. I know it's Savannah yeah, Nissan. Yeah, so with her, I, no, yeah, no, with, with him, it was just over. You yeah. Know? Yeah. Are your sisters jealous because, like, you're the famous one out of the family? No, jealous. Mm. They are freaking happy. We are happy. This is one thing about my family. We love, we genuinely love each other. Mm. We stick to, we, 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 we love each other, we support each other, and no one is, is bigger than the other. There's I'm not a celebrity, you, right? yes, four girls. What are their names? Uh, Ulindo, first born, second born, Ayanda, third born, Tando, and I'm the last born, Tando. What do they do? So, first born works as some, yeah, yes, I don't know, <laughs> but she has a, a job. Yeah. That's all that matters. Yeah. <laughs> I actually don't know. <laughs> I know Tando's a DJ, you know. Tando's yeah. a DJ? Yeah. Tando's like, is she a DJ. big? Yeah. Oh, wow. The Dumas are big, dude. Yeah, yeah. The surname says Duma. It means famous. Mm. Hey, see big, man. Mm. See. Stick with <laughs> me. I'll make you famous. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we, we, we love each other. We care for each other. We help each other grow. We help each other build. We we, ge- we genuinely love each other and we support each other. So there's also, uh, when I'm home, there's no celebrity. There's no one. We also you we wash, the wash the dishes. We, <laughs> I actually enjoy cleaning the house. That's my favorite thing to do. I, I love doing chores at home. So I'm, I'm, we are very normal. You know, yeah. I'm very normal when I'm home. Ah, man, who's calling me? I'm doing an interview. I also have a baby daddy. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Are you guys co-parenting? Yes. Very well. How's that? How does that work? Uh, what do you mean? Like, don't you get tempted? You know, like, hey, eh, you know, we've done it before. Might as well. No, we've never done anything after. We, uh, we broke up when I was two months pregnant. And since then, we never, we never did anything. Is it because of you or because of him? Beca- because of the both of us. As in, like, do you still find him attractive? Though? No, unfortunately. At all? No. No way, Dando. No. This is your your first, bro. Remember what you said in the beginning. Which when things are nice, they are nice. <laughs> so when they're bad, they are bad. So it's we are in that situation. I, I still feel you guys will get back together. There's no way. Really? Yeah, no. I okay. think I think I don't know him from a bar of soap, but yeah. I think he needs to go through whatever stage he's going through, and then he will come back. Yeah, but it, it, it's not, it's not a one way street. It's it's not. Uh, about him wanting to come back. There's someone that he wants to come back to. What, let's now think about that person he wants to come mm. back to. What if I got food? Yeah. And what if we're out? What if we're happy somewhere? Yeah. You know? It's it's not a one-way thing. So. And the thing is with ladies, when they're out, they're out. Um, with me. I've seen a lot of ladies going back to exes. I'm like, how do you even do that? You know? Maybe I'm also, I'm also going... I'm Going to do it in the future, but for me right now, this moment, you know? I'm 24. Ah, you're still young. still got time. Oh, is it? Let's do another interview when you're 30. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. I probably yeah. have retired a long time ago. With four kids. <laughs> <laughs> With three. I'm not going uh, above three. Oh, okay. Yeah, just two more So now. who's going to make good. the babies with? him. Oh, you see? It's an argument. No, no, no. This is an argument that we had. <laughs> <laughs> you see? I don't know. No, no, no. Hey, man. No. <laughs> I don't know. Biggest I have, no, 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 no. We, I, I, this is. Uh, I'm telling you the truth. Can never refill, bro. The honest truth. We have never done it before. When we broke up, we broke up for real. That mm. I think that this that, that's the realest breakup I've ever been to. Yeah. So nothing has happened. 
but I'm glad that we now co-parent well. Have you, you seen know, like th- his girlfriend? I know his girlfriend. Oh, I've never, I've, yeah, I've never seen her uh, face to face. Okay. Physically, yeah, but I, I, I know he's got a girlfriend. He posts his girlfriend, mm. you know. Yeah, so I know the girlfriend through social media. Dude, I want to, I want you to teach me how to be a CIA because my baby mama is crazy with that shit. You I guys can't are t- crazy. I can't expose. She has like five different accounts on Instagram. Okay, I don't. How do you, how do you, do, how do you CIA? Dude, I don't go on Instagram. You don't do Instagram? No, I physically do it. You stalk? I mean, JK. Then you, you can't do anything with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to have fake accounts, just by the way. I used to have one. And then my baby daddy caught on. I'm like, hey, shit, it's okay. Let me just block. And then I deactivated it. I was like, okay, cool. Yeah. 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 I mean, th- that's the only guy that made me a uh, thingy open a fake account. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, after that, I was like, ah, uh, no, actually. Fuck man. No, that's crazy, Dunder. That's not normal, bro. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't normal. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't normal. <laughs> I would have to agree with you. Was the dick that good? I, I don't know, because he broke my virginity, so I was not even enjoying <laughs> sex at the time. <laughs> you, didn't compare, you couldn't compare to anything. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. I, at the time, I was not enjoying, because it was just like, it was a breakthrough. I was mm. like, boom. And then few weeks later. Do you still remember that night? Pregnant. You know, the, it was the day after my memulo. My memulo was in September. So it was, no, in October the 6th, on the 7th, I broke my virginity. Was, did you plan it that day? It wasn't planned, but I wanted to do it. You wanted? Yeah. You were like, this is the guy? Uh, yes. And before, had you had close attempts? No. Never. Yeah. That's why we bang last. They always dump me. I know. You know what? So what's the point of this relationship? I'm like, ah, fuck. Go. I know. Go. I was very confident when I was a, when I was a virgin. It's nice being a virgin. Each, each. Yes. Oh, my And I'm going to be like, no, because now everybody wants to get close to you. And it's just like, okay, can I tell you a very funny story? Tell me. Before my baby daddy, <laughs> I dated some other guy. That say uh, wanted my virginity very badly, and he even lied and said he want to he, he's gonna pay Lobola. He asked me to take him to my mom, and I did. <laughs> and while he was, eh, while he was chatting to my mom, I asked for his phone. I needed to do something. I can't remember what it was. And then when I got into his phone, I found a sex tape of him and another guy. Oh! Yeah! Oh! <laughs> That's right. Oh, Shimza. <laughs> 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 what is your problem? <laughs> At that time, I didn't even know Shimza existed. Man. That's crazy. Yeah, so he, uh, he he's gay, but he never told me. I think he's bisexual, I think. Uh, but what I saw is what I Have saw. You, and then what did you do after that? In the shower, bro. Yay. That time I'm thinking, can't you the sex in the shower? Because I'm a virgin. I don't even know these things. I'm like, yeah, man. <laughs> sex in the shower. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And it's like, oh, you know what, I know. Uh, Ma, thank you. We have to leave. Mm. Uh, a drive back, it was the worst. You never uh, approached him and told him what you saw? And he knows because cause when, I, when I switched on his phone, it was there. That means he was busy watching it. Even. That means he was busy watching it. I was like, okay, cool. And I never said anything. Uh, have you done anal though? <laughs> no. No. So you judge? Yes. Yeah, no. eh, yes, forever. <laughs> there, I'm very sure. Forever. Eh, there was this uncircumcised man that wanted to... Eh, eh, and even... Okay, eh, being a girlfriend, yeah, yeah. it's very tough. Yeah, yeah. It's very, very tough. Yeah. You get into relationships, you love people, and then you find out they're not circumcised. You know, you can't go back because your heart is there. Eh. And then they tell you they want to do anal... Johnny, <laughs> Johnny, with the penis, with, with the blankets. Uh, you've got an entire blanket in your penis. What you? <laughs> My mom is not watching this. <laughs> That's crazy, man. Yeah, no. So there, I'm still, I'm, I'm still and forever. Yeah, you know what's good about it. You know what's nice about it because I take over, I take control. Oh, I like yeah, that. I'm that girl. I like yeah, that. I take control. Yeah. Yeah. 
Mm. Don't even take me for granted. Yeah. You see a tiny piece, you think, this one ain't get a It's the other way. Mm. And that's why these exes always ca- call. Come, come uh, yeah. No, wanting to come back. They, I, they never allow. I don't have space for exes in my life. Mm. I don't have a little space for my exes. So they call and say, because I get it now, they're checking the mood. Mm. If like, I can as well. Mm. So they call, hi. I'm like, hi. So isn't there an ex when you're dry? Like, I get you're going through a dry season now. That you think about it. Like, Ish, I wouldn't mind him again. Remember what I told you earlier? I don't do situationships. Oh. I, don't do, I don't, also don't have spaces for exes. Ah. So I'd rather be dry until I am so who's wet again. <laughs> <laughs> so who's servicing you right now? Eh, there's no service. I don't ah. do services. You gotta release the poison, bro. You go crazy. No, no, no. For me... Let me tell you. For me, it's it's a different it's a different world because firstly, see maybe they. Ooh, I'm joking. Yeah. So for me, it's it's a different world. Remember, yeah. I broke my virginity, then I fell pregnant, then I was single for until especially it was like one year or something. Okay. Yeah. So it wasn't something that I it wasn't a norm. Mm. You know, it wasn't a lifestyle. Yeah. You know, yes, so yes. I can live with myself without being serviced. Oh. Yeah. You're kind of like used to it. I am. Hmm. I mean, you teach yourself to. Yeah. I mean, you can do it too. Okay, I don't know. I, it's tough. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you. yeah, you can handle tough things. There's situations that are tough, mm. yeah, that are not sexually tough, but you can handle them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can do the same with the situation. Okay, cool. I had so many questions I wanted to ask you. I, I feel like I haven't even. I feel like this interview hasn't even started. Eh? Yeah, <laughs> I know, <laughs> and it's so hard like this already. <laughs> okay, cool. What do you want to talk about? Are you the most famous person from Orange from? I think you are. No. Who? Terry Petal. Ah, hey, Orange Farm is called. I know. Beautiful ladies. We send in closing. DJ Spista. The thing is, they don't speak about where they're from, so that people don't know where they're really from. Are you close with Terry? Uh, uh, Terry, Terry. Terry. We're not close, but we, we communicate. Mm. Yeah. She's beautiful. She's gorgeous. lovely. She's gorgeous. She's, got, she's beautiful. She's amazing. She's everything. Has uh, someone told you you like a female version of Samizi? Yeah, I get that vibe from you, eh? Really? Yeah, you got a smoothie vibe. You both can't speak English. Yeah, pe- yeah, definitely. <laughs> hate it. I don't know about him, but I hate it. Hate it. <laughs> uh, y- no one has ever told you that. What? That you? Well, I see comments on my Instagram people Meh. saying that, but yeah. I'm not understanding how. Uh, is it because of the energy, the vibe? The vibe, the okay. energy. You vibrant. You comfortable with yourselves. Okay. Don't give a fuck what everybody yeah, thinks. I would actually agree. You know? Yeah, I would actually agree. Outspoken. I would actually agree. You know, what you see is what you get. Absolutely. You know? Mm-mm. Yeah. So I'm trying to think it makes sense. Uh, and then you dropped out of school? Do you want to talk about that? I didn't drop out. I froze my studies. How? Oh. Are you still freezing them now? Ah, they're still froze. <laughs> <laughs> I'll melt them when I'm ready. How? Oh. oh, I also worked at Crazy, but you worked at you Crazy. You did? Mm. You did? Original. Don't lie. The first presenters, yeah. When How we're come still, I don't know all of this? When we're still at Red Pepper. Did you guys shoot at Red Pepper? Yes. Yeah, you were on when the ratings started going down. <laughs> oh, so they needed me to pick up everything, and I did! <laughs> <laughs> and I did! So you guys were awake. <laughs> So you guys were we're awake. killing your TV. Uh, so you guys were awake. No, 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 let's talk. Let's forget about your TV. But I mean, with the ratings going down, that means you guys were awake. Your TV was number one. I get it. We came fucked shit up. No, let's forget about your CBC stuff. I mean, <laughs> you guys were awake. No, nah, not even. That's what Who I mean. did you work with? I worked with. So the old presenters were already gone. I mean, we, we were saying bye bye to Zola. Well, Pearl. Uh, yeah, Pearl, Pearl, and them and the Kriyas and everyone. Uh, they were already gone. So they had Larry, Larry K. They had Pemelo. They got Mposi Bing. They had uh, the Chinese girl. Um, Lala. No, no, no. Oh. Um, Chen Li. Mm. Uh, they had Dogozo and and many more. Jeez, that's a lot of presenters. We had like I know. Five. I, no, no, no. We, I mean, I think they're trying to, you know, as you did say, you guys, you know. How much were you getting paid at that crazy? I can't even remember, but it, it was enough for me at that time. Mm, I think yeah, I was 17 when I got into the industry, and that was like my biggest breakthrough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Crazy. Yes. Even before Soweto TV and stuff? I did Soweto TV, but it wasn't like uh, a consistent thing. Mm. Uh, I would just get called uh, to stand in for somebody. As an actress, how do you feel about the whole Vatisa situation? Oh! <gasps> 
My goodness, I'm actually going through that at the moment. You kidding? I've gone through that before. Uh, but I, I, I speak about it, but it doesn't have to be publicly for people to know that I yeah, really yeah, speak yeah, about yeah. it. But yeah. I, you know, I address such situations, whether with the CEO, with the big boss, or with the producer. But I'm very outspoken. I don't want to be treated unfairly uh, when I, you know, I do what I'm expected to do at, the, at whatever time I'm expected to do it. So I, 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 I speak for myself. You know, nobody will if I don't. Mm. I speak for myself. And now that I'm a mom and I've got so many responsibilities, responsibilities. Mm. I have to make sure that what I need is what I get. So, yay, over tea. So, you know, funny enough, because on that show of my, on, on Moja Love, yeah. TMI, yeah, yeah. that I present, uh, we had Vatiswa the, 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 the day before she released that statement. Yeah. Before she, she wrote the letter to, uh, <clears throat> to the Minister of Arts and Culture. Yeah. We were talking about the same situation. And she was, she was really, really frustrated because I think f- for her, it just happened countless times and it repeatedly happened and happened. And at the time, we're actually going through the same, you know, with my co presenter just like, yeah, can't we're not the only one, mm. you know. I'm so glad that she finally spoke about it uh, because you know how this industry is like. Mm. When you start, you know, being honest and opening up about how the industry really is, you you get blacklisted or dismissed or whatever the case. I mean, so, let's, let's be honest. With any industry, when you start off, you got to eat shit. You know, you got to pay your dues and work your way up. But when you get to a level like Vatiswa, you can't still be paying your dues. Dude, I know. I, I think that's the reason why she actually said, fuck everything, mm. I'm doing this. Mm. I mean, even in my level, I mean, I mean, I started, I started working when I was 17, before the industry. True. You know, 10 days after I finished writing my final exams, I got a job. And I got paid 840 rands. Mm. And it wasn't nothing. It wasn't nothing. And if you're going to come to me and tell me I've got 840 What did you do with that 840 I, I, I don't know. I did hairstyles. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I can't even remember because it was just peanuts. Yeah, because you don't drink. You don't do yeah, shit. Yeah, I can't remember what I did with that money. Oh, I used to buy my mom like nice things. Mm. Uh, maybe buy my sisters or my cousins or my nephews. Or my I can't remember what I did with that money, man. Yes, I skin chill it and I don't remember small amounts. Mm. Uh, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I don't. But I, I, I mean, if I have worked for eight hundred friends when at that time, you can't offer me eight hundred and think I'm going to be okay with it. You know, it's the same thing that's happening right now. People come at you and they look at you about the exposure. Exposure doesn't pay my bills. Yeah. Yeah. No, that, that, that's old school. Yeah, no, no, they still that's do it. Nice they still do it either way. Like, they don't care. You have 1.8 million people following I know. you. What exposure they do you need? They don't care. They're just like, yeah, no, and just to grow with the channel <laughs> and grow. Yeah. Honestly. Is there a standard rate in acting that everybody should get? A standard rate is a rate of your worth. Hmm. So in your field, you got to know your worth. Absolutely. And vouch for it. Yes. Otherwise, you are fucked. Yeah, because, you know, you, you could ask for 100K, and yeah. they actually do have that 100K, but because they feel you don't deserve it, they will just keep on going down. No, we've got 50. 50. And what's, ha- what ha- what's happening with the other 50? Mm. They're going to try and get someone else who's charging 20K and they're going to still costs. want to cut, da- to cut down from that 20 and go to 5. What the rest? What's Like, but, like you, you said, you've got, you've got responsibilities. Aren't you scared, Uri? Okay, if I don't get this 50K, I won't be able to pay rent for the next month. Babes, nah. I've got more than five jobs in this industry. Hmm. Yeah, hey, and not, be- <laughs> and not, not because... <laughs> Not because I I've had five jobs all my life. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. That's a lie. But, I, I mean, I'm not saying this because I'm trying to front about it or flex, you know, flex or anything. I've worked hard to get to, get to, the, to, the, to, the, to this level, firstly, and to get all these jobs. And I feel like I'm deserving these jobs. And I'm still, with, I'm still doing these jobs because they also respect my craft. They know how much I'm worth and they respect that. So, Hamponiki Dutsimo, forever. You must know I'm happy and you must know how these people respect me. But whenever I leave, you don't even have to question. You must know these people want to allow myself. Hmm. I, you must know. I, I can't. I cannot. You know one thing about me. And if people are really, really 
honest, they will tell you that I'm the most easiest person to work with. I follow instructions. I take directions very well. I do whatever you want me to do. Sometimes I even, I, I even compromise. Sometimes I even sacrifice some things just to do whatever you need me to do. But if you're going to fuck around like that when I need to get what I need to get, then uh-uh. 